Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful sunny day here in London. I'm in Battersea Park right now. It's been quite a while since my last review, but this one, uh, I've actually had time to do it. Now on holiday, Battersea Park, it's a lovely Lundy, what winter, winter day on, winter day in London, and I couldn't be happier. So from the other day, I was traveling here and I was on the BA flight, and I saw they had this new run, which I hadn't tried before. I've tried Mount Gay, I love Mount Gay 1703. It's one of the best mixed rums you can, spice rums you can buy in general. And then I saw this, Dead Man's Fingers. Now, the bottle, it looks quite glary, quite glitzy, whatever, gold writing on it. Looks awfully garish, uh, Cornish spiced rum, as you can see. Now, I had a look, quick look on the website just now, and oh dear God, I was a little bit shocked. This is one of those new spirits which is trying to be up and coming, at the same time trying to be hip, trying to be cool. Um, they've got different flavors, hemp flavored, coconut flavored, coffee flavored. Um, this was after, of course, I already tried this bottle. And uh, this, they say it's got, uh, tastes like Jose Jimenez ice cream with vanilla and all this other nonsense. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I try not to swear on this channel, but I'm going to have to break that rule, but I'm going to use it in nautical swearing today instead. So, <laughs> if you have to write on your website, this rum is quote-unquote suitable for vegans, no Sierra Hotel India Tango, it's... <sighs> Foxtrot Uniform Charlie Kilo ING suitable for vegans. It's rum. If you're, unless you're using animal products in your rum, unless it's a, unless it's, oh, I can't stop myself from swearing. Unless it's a bleeding cocktail, which has got milk inside of it, then of course it's suitable for vegans, you blithering idiots. Now, let me just turn, now that's my rant over. Uh, let's talk about this stuff, because I had a experience. Now, well, my arm dies. So, I must just switch hands, I think. Can I? No, I cannot. So this is a on-the-go on sort of thing. Now, this rum in particular, when you open it, it has... The smell of vanilla is there. In fact, it's as much there as if you were to go to a supermarket, pick up a bunch of vanilla sticks, take a one great big whiff. That is while this rum smells. Switching hands again. Uh, Namely, so on the first taste, on the first experience, I'm going, oh, oh dear. <laughs> but it, it got worse. <laughs> the taste is not of a rum which I can tell you was aged for three years. I think this was just a copper pot batch job done by a bunch of amateurs who don't know what the F they're doing. Then again, with the, this is the British we're talking about when it comes to spirit production, especially. I looked on the back, it comes from Liverpool, and it says it claims to be Cornish, trying to tie into the whole pirate thing. Let me just get this one straight, um, and I will continue this on later on in a bit later video. Pirates did not drink rum. Bombshell, boom, done. Um, no, they drank brandy because rum was too valuable. It was a tradable commodity. You could buy land with rum back in the day. In fact, people did. Uh, quite some large swaths of America was bought by using barrels of rum. It was incredibly valuable. So uh, the whole the whole rum nonsense, the whole pirates drank rum nonsense is utter bollocks. Uh, sorry, could not swear there. So trying to hot time to the whole pirate thing, yo ho and a bottle of crap. Um, they drank French brandy because rum was not as civilized, as advanced as it is today. So this rum, I can tell you, on the Spirit Hub scale, it's a straight up clean with it. I would say pour it into the nearest lake, like this one, but no, you would poison all the fish. Um, the only thing I can say to do with this rum is do not buy it. If you're gonna have to use it, use it in something which needs a heck of vanilla flavor taste inside of it. Use it in a really bad Christmas pudding. It is that season after all. Use it to get the vanilla flavoring and a bit of alcohol, and you'll be fine. Aside from that, never 
ever buy it, throw it away. And Brit at British Airways, please take this off your menu. Martin Smith might provide it to you. Send it back and tell them to give you some Bacardi uh, Oak Card instead. It's a far superior spice rum and it actually tastes better. You can drink it neat, you can drink it on the rocks or stick to the Mount Gay. Please get rid of Dead Man's Fingers because it's exactly how it is. It's dead. Okay, thank you so much for coming back. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, click that bell icon on, and I will see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.